Okay, so we're making rugs, right? You can use burlap as a backing. It's only $3 a yard. Uh, you don't have to ball out and spend $40 a yard on polyester. Uh, this works fine. See, I'm doing curves and everything. And uh, really quickly, I think there's a trick that, yeah, look at this. You can erase. This is cool. Boop. It's a very forgiving medium. So that's a cool trick about making rugs. You can just pull the yarn out if you screw up. Pliers. Pliers are very important. They're great for tightening the burlap. Smiling big, I look like a gargoyle. If you go tack by tack and really tighten it, you get clean, nice lines, tight as a drum. You can play a song on this backing. So you definitely want to use pliers and go around the entire perimeter. Yarn feeding. You want to put the yarn directly below a hook or something to break the tension. Also, I'm using two lines of yarn at once. Run them both through the gun. I think it prints better that way. So threading the gun is something you're going to do a lot if you're switching colors a lot. So if you want to break out your um, strange little translucent hand. And the method is to put the yarn in your palm first. And then the little metal wiry thing goes in your fingers. Okay? Put the metal thing through the holes. Take your time. Good lord. There we go. Very nice. You don't want the yarn in it yet. Feed it through empty. Okay? And then thread the needle at the point. Now we're having some fun. Then you want to yank her through. Bam, you're ready to rock. Very cool. Okay, so now we're going at it. We're printing away. Keep your eye in front of the needle so you can see the holes that it's going into. Uh, trim it up. Look at that. Along the way. And that makes it easier to print lines alongside each other when there's not strands sticking out. Um, it is possible to push too hard. You'll get the hang of it. Mainly, you want to push the gun in the direction that you want your line to go, and it will sort of print itself at its own speed. It guides itself. The gun is alive, um, and it knows what it wants, so you'll get the hang of it. It's really not hard. It'll be fine. So now you go to the store and you buy the glue. It's in a gallon container, Lowe's, Home Depot, carpet adhesive glue, uh, all of them work. Then you wanna grab a can of spray adhesive. Um, again, all of these brands work. It glues the felt backing to your rug. Um, I was nervous filming this in the store, so. All right, now you gotta slop that boy up with a bunch of mud. Look at all that glue. I use too much, <laughs> clearly. You don't have to use this much. Um, it smells and it'll stink up your house. If you can take it outside, that would be helpful. It dries overnight. If you point a fan at it, it dries faster. And if you put it out in the sun for a couple hours, it dries completely. That's the way to go. It removes the stink too. And the rest is history at that point, man. I mean, you're pretty much done. You just got to cut it out, give it like a two inch border or so, lay it down your protective gear there, and then you want to spray her with that adhesive. And I'm doing it outside because of the fumes. It's a little too early to partake in that. And uh, so fold those edges back so you can't see the stuff from the other side, the burlap, right? And then you glue it again, spray that glue on the felt as well, double up. Cut it out. You're all good to go. Make sure you press on that stuff real hard. Do my dance. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that. Enjoy. Have fun. Good luck. I love you. Bye.